1631, subjects alert. Looks like eight on scene. Please still close. 33 family attack. Smooth road pulling traffic hazards around about 1 to 134th Avenue Northeast. Bricks fell off of a truck in the roadway. It's a white flatbed semi. 33 family attack. Did you copy the traffic hazard I just broadcast? No, I was talking to somebody. Um, could you see if Henry Wong could look on this? I'm sorry, see if Henry Wong can what? Are you talking about the traffic hazard with the floating roads? No, that's been referred to state. There's one other roundabout, 1 to 134th Avenue Northeast, bricks fell off the truck from the roadway. And now we're holding an audible alarm, 13806, 44. Correction 45th Avenue Northeast. Three ever two. Three ever two. Would, would you see if Tribal has anybody not on containment that could check the bricks in the roadway? And if maybe security can check that alarm for us? Fourteen way one status. Fourteen way one status. Go back to three nine. Two three nine. Did you contact uh, DOT? State Patrol's been advised. They use the uh, black list to DOT through that. Okay. Got that. Okay. Thank you, 38. In route. That's good, 38. Copy in route. 239, still back. 239. Another report, um, someone stated they smell natural gas in the area and hearing someone yell for help. T39, okay. Uh, requesting the District 25 for assistance. Uh, you only have T37 and their page has been activated. Ground speed report, this might be a mudslide. T39, okay. K47 on scene. K47 on scene. Q39, cell back. Q39. I think somebody was in the mud. Um, I know that she, I know, she couldn't see. And if we're able, can we switch this on to uh, TAC 7, your incident, TAC 7? Three nine, received information. Uh, okay, switch to TAC seven. Receive all units in route to two nine four two five SR five thirty northeast. TAC seven. Incident has been moved to TAC seven. Snow pack station thirty seven on the air. Station thirty seven on the air. We're getting a couple of addresses, so we're not sure if this mudslide is one mudslide hitting both of these addresses or if it's individuals. The address 29425 SR530 Northeast was the original one with the barn and the roof and subject yelling for help. Address 28020 SR530 Northeast 
also having a slide with power lines down. Once again, I know the same one slide or if we're getting separate ones. Okay, uh, we'll initially uh, be at the incident where the person might be in the mud, and then we'll check the other address. Appreciate it. Snowpack T37 on scene. Uh, we've got Highway 530 100% blocked. Highway 530 100% blocked. 33 on okay. Go ahead. I got a little tight up. Uh, what was the traffic hazard you were trying to advise me? It was 1 to 134 Highway 530 Avenue Northeast. It's roundabout. Some bricks fell off a truck in the roadway. It was a white flatbed sky. Copy. That could be patrol information for now. Racing. Also, three over two at Aspen. I advise maybe security of the alarm holding on 45th Avenue Northeast. They're advising it's not their property. But Marysville is going to check on that one. Also, I sent that um, traffic hazard that was on 530. Some information on that to your screen. Did you get that? I did. Darrington fires on that. It was safe. Did you want everyone just to go out there just for fun? Yeah, if he's needed. Where is he? 1631. 1631. I'll be following the witness to the locations of the various collisions. Where is he? It's first in Denham. First in Denham. Snowpack 239. 239. Did you hit the uh, 24 pagers again requesting an 8 car from station 39? SPO 38 G37. G37. Are you going to need more manpower on the Arlington side? Stop back to rescue today. I'm going to say that it's out to 530 command. G38, copy. I'm seeing 530 command. Assuming you're at the 290 mobile block. We have 530 totally blocked with a, a slide. There is a uh, structure out in the middle of 530. We'll be investigating. Be advised on your end of the uh, slide, there is a report of someone yelling for help. 530 command, copy. Snowpack 38 is responding. Engine 38. SB38, G37, uh, I may need some assistance here. Percy, I'll be heading for the channel. g 38 from G39.
I'm just letting you know that we're hearing uh, cries, possibly a child, from this side. Come back, priority traffic, you just stand by. Report of 27809, Whitman Road, neighbor at dead end, traps, no way to get out, river is driving. Let's scan the address, 27809, Whitman Road, neighbor at end, traps, unable to get out, river rising. So that's 530 command. Alright. You're going out for uh, search and rescue helicopters. Uh, this is a major uh, event here, and uh, we're going to need additional resources. Engine 38 is on scene. Engine 38, copy on scene. 
rescue 37, I'm rescue 37. I'm on Whitman Road. Do you want me to go to the end of it? Rescue 37, I want you to go to the end of Whitman Road and see if you can see the people uh, that are trapped on the other side of the water and try to give me a report from that side. Coffee, I'm going to the end and see what I can find out and give you a report. SPL 3, Chief 39. Chief 39. I'd recommend whatever manpower we have to start evacuating from the upstream side of the slide. See most area upstream. Receive the community staff to 530 command. SPL 3 530 command, did you copy that traffic? For District 24, requested an A1 29425. Preston, a man, uh, man and ambulance 29425, SR 530 Northeast. Preston, an ambulance. 882 BLS, Everett Clinic, 8910 Vernon Road, Grid 1582, spot contact 882 BLS, Everett Clinic, 8910 Vernon Road, Grid 1518, taxi. Back to three, Chance Brain Prop. Back to three, Chance Brain Prop, 77. Snowpack, 882, in route, 8910, Vernon Road. 882, it's 49-year-old Melia's left lower abdominal pain or busting in transport. 882. Back is on task five, advising we have a swift water page out for Sulu units, 29425 SR 530, and swift water page out for Sulu units, 29425 SR 530, that's grid 3431 on task six. Correction, that'll be on task seven. Go back, station 87. Station 87, go. Did the Darrington units with an engine from our station to respond? Stand by, let me check. Chief 39, go ahead. Chief 39, we just got a hold of, uh, we're calling Navy for a second helicopter search and rescue. Um, would you like search and rescue to respond for staffing? And then would you like more apparatus from the county? Yeah, let's go ahead and get the sheriff's office responding. Uh, we'll need them for air ops coordination. Copy. Thank you. 
I got uh, three victims up here trapped. Alright, there's command. West side command. I need you to respond to you. No pack five two three nine. Two three nine will assume five thirty command. Two thirty nine, five thirty command. Also two thirty seven, since he's on the west end is west command. Also. Five thirty command. Search and rescue has been advised. A37 from A37. Heavy units, stand by. Chief 530 Command, SAR has been advised. Navy has been advised for a helicopter. SAR been advised for staffing and the helicopter. You have Hovercraft 94 en route with the Swiftwater team. You also have Skagit Red 7. And two engines to the Darrington side. I have no further units going to the west end except for A-37. West side command. Go back. Go ahead. I don't need any additional resources over here. Uh, I need to confirm that east side command has the victims that are screaming out there or has eyes on them. We have a report of victims at 29520, SR530 Northeast, three subjects in the mud. 838, you copy, or 839, you copy that? 29520, SR530 Northeast. West End Command, from 837. West End Command. Uh, we are just passing Whitman Road. Where would you like us? Um, come on up. I don't see any cars heading back towards you. Go ahead and come on over to Skagon Hill. Thank you. 
County on the Darrington side. Copy. And would you like me to start assembling it? Back from 530 West. 530 West. Affirmative. Let's get uh, at least one medic unit coming this way. 530 West, stand by one. 239, you have Med 7, two engines coming in from Skagit on your end. Would you like more? And would you like me to start assembling BLS units on the west end for when the helicopters arrive? Affirmative. We'll need a, a strike force on the Darrington side, the east side from Skagit County. 530, Command West. Go ahead. Uh, per uh, per Trump, he'd like to switch this to peace off to M3 so that we can coordinate with the helo. Five thirty command received. You want all units to go to peace off to M3? Yeah, no, I'd like to chief thirty nine. Chief thirty nine, if I can interject for uh, can we have just one or two units command staff on peace off to M3 so the helicopters can talk? And then uh, keep the majority of the radio traffic on seven. Your call. Received. We'll have uh, West Command and 530 Command with the unit on Peace Ops. All other units stay on Tac 7. So, which unit switching to uh, um, Tac 7? Uh, Peace Ops. Only 530 Command and Command West will have a unit on these ops. 10-4. 530 Command from 530 Command West. 530 Command. I want to verify that you have eyes on all three of the patients from your side. Thirteen one from five thirty command. Snowbacking show two ninety four route to Barrington. Two ninety four copy. Search team one from five thirty command. Search team one. Do you have eyes on all three patients that uh, West Command is referring to? I have eyes on three patients. Um, uh, one patient, I need swift water gear out here. I can get his swift water gear out. If I have a partner, I can get to the patient that's seriously injured. He basically has one arm amputated at the present time. Command from Rescue 38. 530 Command. We can see across by Steelhead Drive and the entire road has been washed out. There's multiple, multiple houses down there at this time that are washed out from our vision. 530 Command received. 530 Command, this is Risky 37. I am on the end of what used to be a Whitman Road or where it has been washed out. Copy. So 
Echo Pack 530 Command. But we have Washington State Patrol coming to the east side of this incident. Not that I know of. Yeah, uh, could you get them in route for traffic control? Uh -huh. Snowpack, if you have uh, SESO in Darrington, they could come this way for traffic control also. side of the slide. Um, I believe they're doing a reverse 911 for that area. is going to hold before it lets go on to Whitman. Coffee, we were just informed locally about that and we are backing out. No back. T-37. T-37. Excuse me. 
I finally have not heard back from the military yet about their helicopter. You're getting search and rescue, search and rescue helicopter, one medic unit. Airless Northwest is going to be landing at the Darrington Clinic, and you're getting two plus two engines and a strike team from Skagit. And I also like to know, would you like the SAR team from Skagit? Cause they can come in on your side. Yes, affirmative. The Skagit team is going to be on Darrington East. Go back, Captain 37. Captain 37. T-37. There is potentially 40 to 60 people living in that area of Steelhead Drive. Receive uh, 530 Command from 530 West. 530 Command East. We're hearing more victims out here, and I've got a team of uh, civilians and firefighters headed in to find them. Five thirty Command West from Training Ninety Four. Five thirty West. Where would you like the units arriving from the west to um, stage? There's room up here, you can actually pull up to the scene. Okay, can you confirm the scene address? Yeah, just keep going until you get to where the road's blocked. Three thank you. Five thirty command east and west. I just want to make sure that uh, we have one of the units on each side that have switched to piece opposite three that will be able to communicate with uh, SOC 10 when they arrive in the area. No back from 530 West. 530 West. I have uh, three or four eight cars coming in my direction. I was just starting working on that. You have 837 currently in route to you, and I was going to start um, paging units to start assembling on your end. Assuming evacuations are going to go your way from the helos. No pass from 837. Go ahead. We're on sync. Eight three seven copy on speed. Go back G forty eight, I'll be around to the location also. G forty eight copy also now. G six eight in traffic, I'm going through the OSO now. G six eight. Thirty seven. Correction, uh, five thirty command west, no packs. Five thirty command west. I know you're busy. I have two more chiefs around, G forty eight, G sixty eight. I was wondering if I could just make one of those um part of the EMS for staging on the EMS um, for transports. That's a fair risk. G forty eight, no back. G forty eight. Here we charge of EMS. Um Information what we have right now is on the east end we have one medic unit and five engines responding with airless northwest landing on Darrington's side. For one critical patient, we have eight thirty seven on the west end and quite a few people stuck in behind um, that are gonna probably have to get heloed out. And I'm gonna start getting the ambulance. I right, copy that. Three BLS or at least one ALS at this time. Great, they just wanted to do a zone eleven task force. Command 
and the west, your station would probably be the best station area for all those BLS units coming in. Receive staging at station 37. Snowpack 530 Command East. 530 Command East. Yeah, let's get a Type 3 overhead team uh, spooled up to this incident. 10 3, 10 4, Type 3 overhead team. Snowpack training 94 on team. Training 94. I did. Yeah, sorry about that. I missed ya. Rescue 37, 531. C-68's arrived on the west end. Back, CK seven. Five thirty, man. You're on five. Can you push back to seven? Twenty nine oh eight one thirteen five northeast has a full seven year old female single single Medic forty eight. Medic forty eight, go ahead. Was Medic forty six requested for the call up the valley as a water rescue? They were requested for the water rescue. I have the dispatcher on seven foot in route, but I assume he's there over there. I'm not sure. Select medic 46. Medic 46, go ahead. We're transporting one to Cascade. Copy. What call are you on so I can fix, fix this? We're on the third street call. Copy. Eight forty eight seven. So back. Are you clear that third street call? Are you on scene as well? Eight forty seven. Clear in service. Copy 847, Colonel. Shell back, station 49, call received. Station 49, copy. Let 
Can you please start that way? I'm just going to make the decision they're tied up with doing a bunch of call outs and such. It's going to be on Fire Attack 7. Can you show Medic 48 responding from Station 47? Copy Medic 48 from Station 47, 11 14. Medic 46, Rev Cascade. Medic 46, Cascade, 11 14. Medic 48, Sam Hack. Medic 48. Can you please start that way? I'm just going to make the decision they're tied up with doing a bunch of call outs and such. It's going to be on Fire Attack 7. Appreciate it. Can you show Medic 48 responding from Station 47? Copy Medic 48 from Station 47, 11 14. Select Medic 46, Rev Cascade. Medic 46, Cascade, 11 14. Back, station 87. 887, go. Can you go ahead and do a manpower tone for our station at your convenience? Copy, manpower tone. Medic 48, step back, are you still on 5? That's permanent, sorry. Uh, dispatcher is advising you'd be needed from the east side, so continue at your discretion, otherwise, if you can get one from somewhere else. from the east side of SR530 as the whole span is blocked, so continue at your discretion, otherwise we can pull someone from that side of the highway. If the patient is on the east side of the slide, it's going to have to come from Skagit County. We don't have a way around. I'll show you in service on the Thirty nine. Two thirty nine. SBO three eight on peace three. Three helicopter is uh, lifting off as we speak. I believe it was uh, me requesting everybody switch to peace ops, at least uh, as far as air ops and coordination with sheriff's office goes. Appreciate it, Glenn. Hey, we got uh, Command East and 530 Command West that was supposed to put one of the radios on peace ops. We have a lot of traffic, uh, radio traffic, so we figured we'd have a couple units on this channel and the rest stay on TAC-7. Yep, that's fine. I will just have uh, Snowhawk 10 switch to Peace Ops N3 and you can coordinate with them directly. Um, anything else you need up there? Uh, I think we're looking at a catastrophic event here. Uh, we've got Whitman Road that has been taken out by a slide. Uh, the river is backing up uh, upstream from the sea post area. We've done a reverse 911, or requested that from Snowpack to do a reverse 911 for upstream and downstream to evacuate. Uh, and 530 has been completely blocked out. We got houses with uh, a critical patient, two others that we know of, uh, with house and debris in 530. Copy that. Um, like I said, Snowhawk 10 is, is lifting off now. They may be able to give you an assessment uh, from the air as far as what happened. Is it possible that that uh, old slide on the north side of um, the river let go again? That's what it's 
sounded like is it, is it actually sounds like a new slide from the two, I believe it's 28400 block where that blue house is by Steelhead Drive. We had a uh, creek overwash there and take out part of the land there. I think they were a combination of both. Command for setback. Setback SBO 38. I'll, I'll check and buy and see if uh, we had a couple units switch to the channel yet. SBO 38 for setback. I'm working on the reverse now. Evacuate the area along the Stillmonger River upstream of State Route 10538, mile post 37, head uphill away from the river and lowlands. Please only call now in case of emergency. Does that sound accurate? And let's also go downstream just in case uh, once the river goes up and it uh, breaks through and heads downstream, we can have some. Uh, uh, an event that goes downstream also. So for two miles downstream as well. Perfect. This is station 39. Medic 3, problem from 2. 39, this is station 39. Station 39, he's probably on attack 7 with the rest of them. Robert 2, stock 10. Go ahead. Robert 2, Snog 10. Snog 10 on uh, Granite Falls Repeater, go ahead. When you get into the area, you can coordinate uh, directly with fire on PSOPs N3, and I'll be monitoring also. Copy that. And also, they're not sure exactly what happened, whether it was one slide or two. Um, there is some issues with the North Fork of the Stilly. There's some report that uh, Whitman Road was taken out, and uh, certainly 530 is blocked. Copy that. Southback, 83 is on scene. 83 on scene, 11, 18. 20 is 3. 20 is 3. I'm on North Air en route situation in Oso, waiting for my computer to boot up. We have a deputy on scene to uh, contact fire chief. Sergeant and Rube were on scene to be with the fire chief until I get there. Sergeant was on the assistant. Oh, yeah. 20 Zebra 3, the sergeant was on the assist fire for the possible arson on 81st and Marysville. I believe the spin patch with PSOPs N3 for the Darrington call. I believe Henry 1 was heading down there from Gary. That'll work, thanks. No hot unit calling on North Air. No 
Contact 61's in service. Eight six one also. Eight six one service. Talk to service for postal. on the west side. We make contact with me here at my car. Two six eight. We've got a few victims up here. Could you guys uh, try to coordinate some backboards or stokes from that end? Command. 
East. 530 Command, this is 268. Thirty-seven from eight thirty-seven. This is rescue thirty-seven. What's your location? I'm up at the first driveway on the end of Whitman Road. Before it drops down, the road has been washed out. So we're called three people in a house on the other end, and we've got a vehicle, a four-wheel drive pickup, taking it, trying to get back there. I'll rethink. Robert, two, small, ten. Robert, two, small, ten on peace up. Uh, ten on peace up. Just be aware, um, the request has been made for a Navy helo, so you may have company up there. Copy that. We'll be on the lookout. Can a granary Peter? How much can a helicopter saw a can calling Jaglin command? Robert to saw ten. Go ahead. Uh, my significant other just called and said that uh, neighbors are reporting the river is totally dry, so there's going to be a huge um, obstruction somewhere upstream. Copy that. We're just coming into the area here. We'll let you know what we see. Can we get closer? Uh, so far, I've uh, heard no one, uh, nobody on fire has talked to me so far. dispatcher here, um, but I need to be able to give information to this one person. How would you like to be clan, and then you start setting up divisions on the east and the west? 530 command, let's go ahead and set up uh, uh, a branch east and west. 530 command will be infinite command, and we'll get another person to take over 530 east. Two six eight zero now, um, Branch West. Branch West from C thirty seven. Branch West. I'm setting out one victim. Appears to be about a six month old baby. Uh, red. Three six month old baby. Red. Center. Southpack from Branch West. How many MS units do I have coming in to uh, the west side? You currently have Medic 48, 847, and we just were doing a Zone 11 BLS strike team. 
receive, send me another Zone 12 uh, Medicare. So I'm thinking uh, Medic 46 or Medic 63, whoever's closest. Twenty-eight boyfriend. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Five thirty command from Branch West. Five thirty command. PUD has advised me that he has uh, cut the power here on the west side. The power has been cut from the west side. 537, all units arriving from the west on SR 530, we need to keep the westbound lanes completely open so as we start moving patients, then we have a route out of here. So all uh, parking will occur in the eastbound lanes. Snowpack 530. But Okay. Requesting uh, Skagit County Sheriff to East Branch. Appreciate it. Also, uh, would you like the technical response team of Snohomish County? You're having the Swiftwater team, but would you like the actual full um, technical response team? Branch West. Okay, as far as we can tell, we only have one more victim out here. She's currently trapped and we're trying to extricate. She has a possible broken leg and a laceration to her head. Branch West. Somebody uh, needs to be coordinating with uh, the sheriff's helicopter on uh, Peace Ops N3 and possibly try to coordinate that rescue at the end of Whitman Road. Okay. I'll uh, get another radio out of my car and go to Peace Ops N3. And Chief 47. So back, you should back 97 around. 97, copy and route break. Chief 47. If you're going to the peace ops to talk with the helicopters, you're going to have Snowhawk 10 plus the Navy just helicopter. Copy all. Connect up with Division West. 
530, command from 882. Go ahead. Would you like 882 to respond? You're part of the page, yes, sir. Well, Pack, if you could send this to our NDC, that would be great. Show 882 and Ralph. First, it should be on your screen. Branch West. From Branch West. Chief 47 is going to coordinate uh, airlift landing probably a half a mile west of this uh, antenna. We're going to be airlifting the uh, first engine uh, off the scene. Did you let airlift know that? Okay, we well, have flown one helicopter and that was for the east end for a subject with a arm amputation. You need one on the west end. Well, we don't want to sit up here and wait that long. So what I'll have you do, change in plan, we'll have uh, the medic yet that's coming in here take the uh, child towards Arlington and they can coordinate getting airlift where they need them. So that'd be a second airlift unit. This is requested second airlift unit and we have a zone 11, zone 12, BLS strike tours for you. You have medic 90, medic 99, medic 48, medic 97 and out. Appreciate it. That's unit. Well, 16 round as well. Quad 16. Go back, 868, and 868, Adam, I'll slow down. Back, back, 869 is in route. 839. Branch West from 237. Branch West. I just sent a guy back for the high lift jack. Could you have him also bring spider traps with him back? Medic 48 for us. Medic 48, copy on seat break. Branch West, snow back. Branch West. Period. Medic 48, come straight into 837, straight in. Branch West. For the zone 11 and the zone 12 units, would you like them to stay somewhere or respond to the location? Shut that cover guard 94 on scene. Rescue 38 from 530 East. Rescue 38. Okay, I'm just sending you whatever civilians I have down here that are able bodied. We're currently conducting a rescue. Two patients, one is unconscious, can use extra bodies if available. I have no personnel on site right now. 37, station 37 to 237. 237. Two down here at the station. Do you want us to divert traffic around the loop road, block it? You can turn them around. This is going to be uh, closed down for quite a while. Just, just turn them around, tell them it's going to be closed all day. Branch West from Mobile 37. Branch West. I am out with uh, homeowners at the end of Whitman. No imminent danger here. I will be bringing the sun out and meeting up with you, and then we should be good down here at the end of Whitman. Receive. 530 command, cell back. And from Branch West. 
Branch West, no back. Branch West. I need to know engine areas for your two zone BLS strike teams. Also? Staging area for the two zone BLS strike teams will be on SR 530, 100 yards west of the scene, or where my command post is at. In the eastbound lane of travel, I'm going to be working with State Patrol. I'm kind of a unified command here with State Patrol for this branch, and we're working on shutting the road down down here and getting cars cleared out. Snowpack 530 command. But we've got Medic 7 on scene on 530 East. Can we get another medic unit responding from Skagit County? Uh, also, the reverse 911 has also gone out. 530 Command, okay. 530 Command, this is Branch West. So about 248. 248. Confirming airlift is coming this way from the west. First airlift is going to Darrington site for an amputated subject. Second airlift has been sent to the Arlington Airport for your patients, unless you want them to land where you're at. That's a permit to bring them to station 40, or excuse me, station 37. Second LD, station 47. Uh, station 37. Station 37. Units, command units on 530. 
We need units to coordinate with the helicopters. Two helicopters, one working, the other inbound. Still need a chief to work on Peace Ops N3 to talk with helicopters. Branch West, Chief 37. Branch West. We've extricated the victim from the pile, and we're going to remove her uh, from out from these trees. Can you find out if it's possible at all to land the bird near the, the big blue tarp? Okay, they probably won't be able to land the helicopter there, but they may be able to do uh, an extraction with the hoist. I'll communicate with them on Peace Ops N3 and see if that's possible. Do we see that? No back, squad 87, Ron Team. Squad 87. No back, SPO 38 on scene. You're going to come forward when you get the opportunity. Medic 48, red to meet airlift. Station 37. G47, Branch West.
Robert 2 from Snowhawk 10. Robert 2, Snowhawk 10, go ahead. We're going to need the fuel truck at the Oso Mill site. We've got multiple rescues we're performing. The Oso Mill site is subject to flood if that river lets go, so we'll have to come up with something different. Um, Green Crow, uh, Green Crow Rock Quarry. Work for us. Uh, go ahead, get the old moving. We've got multiple people to rescue. Uh, DEM is also requesting keep an eye on that dam. They have some heavy equipment moving in that direction to uh, break the dam, but uh, if it lets go quick, uh, people are going to need to know. Roger. Uh, please pass on the state any aerial rescue assets coming to come up on 123.1 so we can coordinate the airspace. And I don't know if their in route is the Navy. Roger. This is DEM-5. DEM-5, go ahead. We, I'm on my way in to open up the EOC. We'll advise stay on that one and anybody else. I'll stay off the net as much as possible, but I'll monitor to assist as any way I can. Roger. Medic 99, go ahead. Kind of confused. Am I supposed to respond to this zone 12? If you're part of the zone 11 and 12 strike team, all units are requested to respond to SRF 530 and they're on TAC 7. 82 from 83. Shane, or to Darrington, push the 7th. And so back to all units, take the information. If you're responding to the Darrington incident, the river blockage clears. Any units or equipment south of the slide may be in danger of flash flooding. Severe life safety issues for responders and citizens. Again, take the information. Any is responding to Darrington. If the river blockage clears, any units or equipment south of the slide may be in danger of flash flooding. So, that clear 1140. Any one from 83. Any We're available to respond. Covercraft 49 is in route. I'm sorry, last unit, repeat traffic. 
no no pack hovercraft 49. Hovercraft 49, you're not. So the 530 incident is so switch to 7. That's affirmative. Because of radio traffic, I can't get on. Okay, that's fine. I'll push it around on the call. We got you. Thank you. Go ahead, stall again. Roger, you'll need screamer shoot. Medic 46 and around switching attack 7. Medic 46 and around switching. So I created a lock. Can I get a map to you? Can I get a map to you? Can I get a map to you? Can we don't have a set rendezvous point at this time. We're trying to determine that. Uh, once you just let us know, I'll let you know as well. And so back to all units responding to the SR-530 incident, the CG for the zone unit is going to be 100 yards west of the scene of the 290 block of SR-530 eastbound lanes of travel. It's going to be grid 1350, and again, you're on pack 7. So back repeating, all zone units responding to SR-530, it's going to be 100 yards west of the scene. That address is 290 block SR-530 northeast with a fire block 1350 and contact 7. Solid camera over 2. Can you check with Richard Duncan, Duncan and see if he's available? We may need him. I'll do it. Solid camera over 2. Understand, uh, fuel trailer is going to green, though, is that correct? Trying to uh, make sure the gate is going to be open now. Let's go with these people we're picking up. Say again. The people we're picking up, I'm looking for a place to put them. I'm thinking they also mill site. Okay, but uh, that is in a flood area. Um, the old, the old cedar mill below also, or the mill site um, right across from the store. The concern is if that 
damn let's go, there's going to be a huge glut of water and that old mill site, the old cedar mill, is going to be in a flood area. Okay, can you get with whomever and determine where we should go with the patients? As close as possible, we're going to have to make as many turns as we can. Copy that. Go back with Tiny 99. Battalion 99, go ahead. Battalion 99 requesting a general alarm all page for staffing for North County stations. Battalion 99, copy a general alarm for staffing for North County stations. Cardiac history. Medic 99, okay. Saturday, and 
Thank you. Select. Last unit with traffic for Snowpack, go ahead, please. Snowpack, Medic 97. Medic 97, go ahead. Involved with the zone response, request the station 18 along West Plain. There's nobody there. Twenty forward to the, uh, uh, the uh, 530. I'm sorry, it is really loud in here. I can barely hear you. Can you repeat that on a little slower? Okay, the updated staging location will be 100 yards east of the 290-100 block of SR530, which is the incident location. Medic 97, copy. Updated staging area 100 Command posts are set up on the west end of the slide. It's 
uh, Chihos is uh, White Crown Victoria Fire Interceptor. That's where Branch West Command set up. And you're going to land the helicopter approximately three quarters of a mile uh, west of that location and communicate with T-48 on PSOP Sentry. Okay. Uh, moving over that way now and looking at the same time. No Hawk 10 from T-37. Go ahead. I've got one victim over here by the blue tarp, uh, unless you guys are busy over there. Well, we've got one here. We'd like to get uh, the two we've got aboard offloaded first, so we're going to pop over the hill here and find a place to set them out. Receive. Okay, when you go back, I'm directly on your 12 o'clock right now underneath you after these trees. Okay, we'll be back as quick as we can. Receive. So, Hawk 10, G48. The lock from Chief 48. Go ahead. Well, about one mile to the west of the incident, uh, in the middle of the road. This is probably not a bad location. You take a look. Got power lines to your south, trees to the north, but you should be okay, I think. Okay, we're coming up to you now, I believe. You're directly overhead, just about now. from 530 command. Compact to 882 on service. Indian Steers are in the service. Affirmative from Battalion 81. You can notify uh, command if they want us to continue in. I'll contact Battalion 81 if they do. Happy. Firefighter safety. Thank you. Still moving. Be careful. Future slides. Five thirty West Division from Five Thirty Command. Five Thirty West. Do we have an airlift unit that would be able to land just on the east side of the slide? Are you asking me or telling me? Because I'm on the west side. How many airlifts do we have available right now? Is one at the Darrington Clinic? 530 Command. One was sent to the Darrington Clinic for your patient with an amputated arm. Second one was sent to the west side for their patient, which is landing at Station 37. Received. 530 Division East. Excuse me, 530 Division West from 530 Command. Branch West. Can you contact the airlift at the Darrington Clinic and have them land at the east end of the event? We have a large field here. Uh, you have to have still pack do that. I'm, my hands are full right here right now. And I'm concerned about additional slides happening. I, we, as soon as SOHAWK gets their patients dropped off, they're going to need to do aerial recon to make sure that we're all on the 
safe place here. If we're not in a safe place, we're going to need to pull a plug here. I received the information. Five thirty command from Hovercraft forty nine. Five thirty command. Where would you like us to stay? You're reporting to West Branch five thirty. Five thirty command from rescue team one. 530 command. We have sent two gentlemen back to get a backboard, an oxygen bag, and a bunch of blankets. Could you see that somebody helps them retrieve that stuff? Five thirty command still there. command, first team efforts and rescue at the river. The river at this time is completely dry. Uh, still heading to the home to rescue. By 30 command, I believe a copy, you say the river is completely dry. Um, if you'd like me to, I'm going to contact Snowhawk 10, see if we can get Snowhawk 1 here if they're close. We've got to have somebody committed to just recon. I, uh, I'm thinking that we probably are in a spot where we shouldn't be right now. We may have to, uh, we may have to pull the plug on this due to everybody's safety. Division from Chief 16. West. Branch West. Branch West, I'm about 10 minutes out. Where would you like me? At the Branch West Command Post. Received. 530 Command, snow back. 530 Command. Rescue search. 5.30 command. All the homes and steal a drive are gone. in the field. They need to know if the field is going to be firm enough for their helicopter. Receive. Stand by. We'll check. 530 command from Rescue 38. 530 command. Cool. We've established an LZ and are prepared to deliver a patient to airlift whenever they're available.
So that's not all units responding to zone response on 531st Tech 7. The bank is still moving. We have danger for a flash flooding south of 530. Again, all units responding to 530 for the zone response on Tech 7. The bank is still moving. Please be advised. Any equipment parked south of SR530 is risk of flash flooding. So that's clear 1156. The trooper just passed the uh, state park. This is County Watch Report. Right behind you. Yeah, you're good. Let's see, County Watch Report, what are Medic 48 on five. Medic 48, go. Station 87, Medic 48 arrived at station 37. Can you let airlift know that's coming to us? The contact will be 837. Medic 48, 837 on scene at stage 37. I will advise airlift at 837 to contact. Thank you. Fire at DLC. We're going to put the patients off of the nose of the aircraft. Uh, off of the nose of the aircraft. Don't let anyone near the tail rotor. For now, we're going to bring all patients uh, to this LZ. Station 8 9. Okay, standby, please. While I'm on the phone with Airless. Go back, ladder, medic 99 arriving. Ladder, medic 99 arriving. Last unit before ladder, medic 99 available. Please go ahead. I'm on track 5 waiting, contact SOPAC, I'm ready. 837, I'm on the air. 837, SOPAC, I contacted Airlift and advised them you're at station 37 and that you need the contact point. That's affirmative.
you, man. Snowpack, Hovercraft 49. Hovercraft 49. Hovercraft 49 on scene and unable to get through on channel 7. Understandable, I'll put you on scene. Thank you, Hovercraft 49. Send that to our helicopter units. Be advised, other Hugos in the area to be on 123.1 VHF. So I'll send another Hugos in the area working the 530. Need to be on the radio, 123.1 VHS. from LZ Command. Command. Do you have an ETA on this uh, helicopter? Damn it, someone else is just on my notes, I'll let you know when I know. Medic 61 DOS 1917-63, grid 1915, tag 5, Medic 61 DOS 1917-63, grid 1917-5. 837, snowpack. 837. I need you to switch to fire attack A to talk to your airlift. Switch to fire attack A, talk to your airlift. 10 -4. LZ command, uh, go ahead.
That's affirmative. And we do have an airlift landing zone set up on the other side of Stagwin Hill. So we're in good shape over here. Things are happening. Uh, we've got good organization and uh, we've got accountability in place on the west end. Uh, any questions? I've got a uh, medical group supervisor, Medic 7, on Division East. They can report to your supervisor. Center copy, Chief 48 is 30 command from SPO 38. A37, subhack. A37, our medic 48 from Snowpack, are you on five? A37, eight to ten minutes. LZ command, copy. LZ command. It's for 35 year old female with uh, lower abdominal pain, difficulty breathing. They're in the alley behind the residence. Copy in the alley behind the residence. Thank you. Units responding to the SR530 incident. We have updated staging location. It will be the 1800 Pioneer. It's just west of I-5 on SR530. Again, all zone 11 and 12 DLS strike teams responding to 530. The staging location is now going to be back at 1801 Pioneer, it's west of I-5 on 530. So if I clear 12 point. HRT radio check. You want the litter. You want to do a litter hoist? No bag from Station 37 LZ Command. I've got you now. Confirm you want to do a litter hoist. From Station 37 LZ Command. Go ahead, did you copy 8 to 10 minute ETA for airlift? About 10 minutes. 
Affirmative. All right, do you want me to go to TAC 8 or stay on side? That's up to you. Um, if you need to make requests over here, I'm here if you need me. Uh, but if you push back, then obviously it makes communication hard. So if you ask for something, you might stay over here until I can give you the information you need. What tack will airlift be on? They're passed on 770 with fire tack 8. Uh, copy. I'm going to move to 8. Five thirty command from SPO three eight. Five thirty command. I need access on the uh, White Horse Trail that leads to the slide. Uh, we do have a full block to the river. River is dry. We have uh, people down here that we're contacting. I think we have more people trapped down here and contacting all three currently. Reese, you're going to have to coordinate, coordinate that with Search Team 1 and determine what resources you need. One copy, and you're going to be reported to uh, C-48. Copy, and you want to report to C-48 on foot. Correction, C-30-47. C-47, thank you. Uh, HRT from Snowhawk 10, how much time to package a patient? Robert 2, Robert 3, are you calling Snowhawk 10? Robert 3, affirmative. Um, I was just trying to see if uh, any other aircraft were in the area. Right, they have a Navy helicopter that uh, should be on scene shortly. Um, and I'm guessing there's going to be several news helicopters. Okay, um, I just talked to Danny, and uh, he probably should be the air boss up there to just to manage the air side of it if, with all these aircraft in the air. No, well, he just called, and I told him I didn't think that uh, anybody was needed or that, that he was needed. Okay, is uh, are there is there more rescues than the ones knocked in soon? There's there's several rescues um, that are going on um, and have gone on. So um, the Navy helicopter, when it gets there, should take care of some. The concern and the reason they asked for Snowhawk One was to keep an eye on the uh, the. Uh, blockage in the river so that nobody's surprised if it gets way. I see. Okay. Um, I'm heading out to the hangar now, so um, we'll, we'll call you before we depart. Okay. Um, any any thought to a temporary flight restriction over that area? Um, I don't think the news choppers are flying based on that accident, so I don't think we're going to get uh, a lot of response there, but um, if it if it looks like it would be congested at some point, we could put that in effect, but I don't think at this point it needs to be. Search 
Battalion 1. Battalion 1 is the strike team leader. Ladder 1 is Captain Disengage. That's a firm over there. 1801, Pioneer. Great, Dave. It's 11 units responding for the PLS-19. It's Rendezvous, 1 Pioneer Highway, Battalion 1 is your task force leader. Operating Thank under Branch West, Chief 94 is Branch West Safety. He'll report directly to me. Search Team 1 from 530 Command. Gadget units here. What resources do you need? There's a set of swift water gear and A38 at them. There's your swift water gear is out in front of that little house at the first driveway to the left when you're walking on the sea post road. There's a set of gear in Shayla's car. What we need, if any text at all, um, we're now at the patient with Jan, Shayla, and myself. We're going to need some manpower to get him out of this mess. We had to cross approximately 200 yards of debris to get to him. I'm going to need help to get him out. He is seriously injured. And this we can have a helicopter like uh, the sheriff um, do a basket drop for us. Received. Branch West from 530 Command. 530 West. Did you hear that transmission from Search Team 1? They would probably like to get the Sheriff's helicopter to do a, a lift out of the river. Okay, I, I, I need to make sure I understand your, your request. You, Search Team 1. At what location do you still intend to do a lift of a patient or the crew out of the river? They're in a debris field. Critical patient. Branch West, command from Chief 47 Medical. We have three medic units and three acres set up. Branch West, very good. Branch West, no back. Branch West. Do you have an area for the uh, helicopters to, uh, when they start evacuating subjects, to drop them off there? That's from that area is approximately three, three quarters of a mile west of the sea. Uh, there'll be a chief there to, to uh, guide them in. That would be uh, Chief 40. Stand by. I'll have to look at my big board here. That'd be Chief 48, station uh, 37, landing zone. We had Oso's fire station, station 37. I don't know what the address is, but you can probably find it in the deck. Command from SPO 
Certified Surgeon Command, this is Branch West. Do we have upstream safeties established to where the river is backing up and not flowing through? If not, we need to get some spotters upstream that can give us a heads up if the thing starts overflowing. Number three, it's not 10. The other two guys that left our party and headed south, did you contact them? Yeah, we've got one of our team members inserted uh, down where the blue tarp injury was, packaging in a litter. We're going to do that litter hoist next. Correct. I am here with him and the victim, but you went up and then you came back down and we had two guys on the other side of these trees. Did you cause it looked like you lowered and talked to them? Uh, we picked the subject and his son out and we just left them off down here at the uh, drop-off zone. Excellent. Thank you. Second Highway 9 heading to Taylor. I had to go around an accident. Copy that. Ladder 99. Ladder 99. Ladder 99 in service. Medic 99 with 1 plus 1 firefighter code to prob. Medic 99, 1 plus 1 to prob, 12 18. Battalion 99 from Station 99. Battalion 99. The MCI, are you on an, another detail? I'm currently out at Station 90, standing by right now. Receive. I'll contact you here in a second. Copy. Station 37, LZ Command, to airlift. Coming in, uh, we're on 5:30. You will be coming in on the south side of the station. Uh, there is uh, two aid cars parked out behind. Pretty clear. Uh, everything looks good back here. The one is right on the exit of the highway 530. Yeah, I'll receive. I can see you. You'll be on the south side of 530. Come 
again. I see a helicopter. It must be going to Darrington. What's your location? is Station 37, isn't it? We were given a lap long for it, so we were trying to head to the lap long. But, uh, looking for the land flight area on the, uh, where it's more, they said it was right next to the flight area on 530. <laughs> Your patient head is facing north. We're inbound to you now. Holy command is over six. This is station thirty seven, LZ command. Go ahead. Fire Marshal 28, Frank on scene. Fire Marshal 28, Frank on scene. Both command, there was six. It's over the slide area. I think it's just helicopter operations. Uh, what area are you like? We were looking for a deal. Hey, slide left, because I can't move. This is airlift command, station 37. Uh, evidently we have more than uh, one airlift here transmitting, so there's some confusion. The airlift to the point to the fire station, to my understanding. Airlift right now is currently over the slide here. Yeah, I have the sheriff's helicopter at Harbor inside. Can you describe our landing area, please? You will be coming in south of Highway 530, south of the fire station itself. There will be two aid units parked behind that fire station. The field's pretty clear. You uh, have some trees around the perimeter. Everything else looks good. Has a baby that was already taken out and is fine, rescued already.